AICC Manipur in charge Gaurav Gogoi accuses BJP-led state government of abusing constitutional authority. Minister Taunajam Shyam Kumar speaks out on his disqualification case, challenges Congress MLAs to fight on the right platform. BJP spokesperson Chong Tham Bijoy terms a returning of Minister T. H. Shyam Kumar's disqualification case to Speaker's Tribunal, tight slap on Congress party. Amid tight security ahead of Republic Day celebrations, powerful bomb explodes at Nagabapal Paunam Lekai Rims Road. And Health Minister Langpula from Jenta Kumar urges people to join hands in eradicating hepatitis from Manipur by 2030. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Joyce Rusham with the top stories and latest news at this hour. All India Congress Committee AICC Manipur in charge, Gaurav Gogoi, has reiterated that the Supreme Court's judgment on the disqualification case of one minister of the BJP-led state government is a tight slap to the government and proves that it has abused constitutional authority. Speaking to media at Congress Bhavan BT Road today, Gaurav Gogoi said the case could have been settled long ago in the State Assembly session itself without even approaching the Supreme Court. He added that it would be prudent for the BJP government to react appropriately on the case. Gaurav Gogoi said the government should not betray people's fate in democracy. I think it is very unfortunate for the people of Manipur that the case had to go to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court had to give a direction. This should have been decided within Manipur by the, within the assembly itself. The fact that it had to go to the Supreme Court and there has been such a long delay and finally the Supreme Court had to raise questions about the powers and functions of a speaker, I think it is rather unfortunate. It also points to the way the BJP have been abusing the positions of constitutional authority, whether it is the speaker, whether it is the governor. We have seen in many cases how people appointed to these high constitutional positions by the BJP have abused the dignity of the office that they are holding. Speaking further, Gaurav Gogoi said the people, including students, have initiated mass agitation against the Citizenship Amendment Act across the nation, but the BJP-led central government has failed to heed. He told the government that people are not agitating in demand for some quota or salary, but to protect the constitutional and democratic values of the nation. Gaurav Gogoi accused the BJP government of discriminating people based on religion, much like the divide and rule policy of the British. He termed the BJP-led government a dictatorial government and called Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Amit Shah the dictators. He claimed that the country's GDP, Democracy Index, Human Poverty Index, Global Hunger Index, Press Freedom and Women's Safety Index have declined with the advent of the BJP government, all the while rising the index for hatred and lies. Gaurav Gogoi also criticized Chief Minister Nongtong Mambirain of favoring more to make dashing headlines on newspapers and television channels instead of actually working for the people's welfare and to create jobs. He declared that people have awakened and can now see the atrocious nature of the BJP. The AICC Manipur in charge assured that Indian National Congress had strived for the welfare of the public, is striving and will continue to strive for the welfare of the people. There's a huge uproar in the entire country and the Home Minister says that he does not care. People can continue their protest but the BJP government does not care. That means they do not believe in democracy because democracy means 
responding to people's concerns. Here people and the public are expressing their concern. The case is ongoing in the Supreme Court and yet the BJP government says that the people can continue protesting. They will not stop. So they are behaving like a feudal lord. They feel the people of India are slaves and they are a feudal lord. Prime Minister Modi and Home Minister Amit Shah are behaving like dictators. Taking part in the press meet, CLP leader Okram Ibobi called upon the people of the state to rise and overthrow the dictatorial BJP-led state government. He said the Congress party will examine the speaker's decision on the MLA disqualification case and take appropriate actions on the right platforms, if necessary, keeping in mind the people's interests. The CLP leader also declared that Congress party will not spare those seven MLAs who had defected from the party. He said necessary reactions will be taken against them. Chin the Mangba public city the Maktoba Sirasu Gorob Jin Haidune Moji public city propaganda Nasi any local paper the heading the photos in to even slumbi karika mayamsi loy greva photogi sarkar haibatari government say all institution mayam sing say whether it may be election commission adu Raz Baban Kangde Adu Assembly Secretary Kangde Power Kaktagi Yangaga Kai Ningai Nini Narang Nanda election result Haidwe Shiriti Ace Hankumar declare elected from Ando Assembly constituency sponsored by Indian National Congress Assembly the member of Moigi election Lurgo was something with Singhalaga Mandri Pam Piraga, a koi BJP di Sarkar, by the way, had the Hive Shivu, Sikai Ningai Natrava, Ain Sipalibakni, Honorable Speaker Namagi, Office Ki, Sanctity to Naglatava, Quasi Judiciani, Ado Speaker Ki, Matose, Ado Man Matota, Rokta Banina, Prasasing Interesta, Koi Tiangabani, Ado Matunga, so Koi Tiangagini. Forest and Environment Minister Thanonjam Sham Kumar finally broke his silence today about the disqualification case against him. Speaking to media at his office in New Secretariat, Minister T. H. Shamkuma said residents of Andro constituency abide by the constitution and they are fully aware of the tense schedule and guidelines under the Election Commission of India. He appeals to Congress leaders and MLAs not to mislead the public before the final hearing on the case at the Speaker's Tribunal Court. Minister Sham Kumar asserted that the case is still under judicial consideration and termed it unfortunate that people are already spreading false news about his disqualification in two weeks. He said the Congress MLAs must be envious of him for spreading such misleading information. Minister Sham Kumar claimed that the case has been delayed since the unschooled petitioners did not know where to approach. He said public's uh, precious time could have been saved if the complaint was filed at the appropriate forum. Minister Shamkumar said that he is all set to face the case. Sakra asyam itu hai teraga, siom bang saya minggu anda payung teraga bang ngam, madu ngam ngam hening de. Lepak si dua sepa lepang, no one can above the law. Mim tan dua gigi matat tak lebiar way. India si secular democracy country ni, ada democracy sepa pilih pilih lepak yang menunggu tak? Kau itu kena Malaysia lepak yang ni ikat kuna betul betul country maklum. Country si tak lebiar law si kau tak? Kau ngam pun aku. Satte, ini sahaja itu yang mayok tu. Satte, kangda dana itu yang mayok tu. Satte leh dana aku lagi. Sepanjang kangda peminang aku tanya apa. Pasu sih kanan tu kata mana? Orang mesti pergi terima yang kata just mana mah? Butuh kata betul kau ini payung tu yang pakai sesat sesat laga. Lepak ini, kini itu lagi mata mangan apa? Perjalanan yang lagi, kau yang orang mungkin apa? Siapa tanjat api betul? Aduh, orang orang emel sih betul. Enak pel tu kau itu di forum dah terima yang kata orang orang speaker lagi. Sabtu aku tengen aje. Enak kanan aku kau ini. Orang orang court kita against aku ini ngangjat di. Baris samudang lagi against orang ngangjat di. Logi makhluk lagi bangang tani. Logi wang tu kanan pusat. Spokesperson of BJP Manipur Pradesh, Chong Tham Bijoy, condemns the General Secretary of Congress Party, Gaurav Gogoi's recent remarks on Forest Minister Thaunajam Sham Kumar's disqualification case as misleading. Speaking to media at his residence in Lamphel today, Chong Tham Bijoy said that as per the law, one cannot approach the court regarding a disqualification case until and unless the speaker gives a final decision. He claimed that Congress party played delaying tactics by failing to appear for three times upon being summoned by the speaker's tribunal to resolve Minister Shyam Kumar's disqualification case. Chong Tham Bijoy said the Supreme Court's recent direction to the speaker to decide on the case shows that Congress has failed the case. He said the Congress party approached the court by skipping the, the speaker's tribunal and now the court has transferred the case back to the speaker's tribunal. The BJP 
Manipur Pradesh spokesperson said the Supreme Court's judgment on the disqualification case is in fact a tight slap to the Congress party. He said the Supreme Court's decision is not a mandamus and it does not affect the Speaker's dignity in any manner. He accused the Congress party of applying misguided therapy on the public. Existing law is not any disqualification case in the case. Speaker ki tribal nel na aro ever rai ma pidri bho any court am the chatpagi akoi right like the ado the hanta congress the tawri se speaker tribunal the case aro ever rai pidri the court mathang mathang chong chong chalode high court the chalode a supreme court yawode aro ga supreme court na muk lai ba law ma yaje phajana nai na ga all india ga ati similar case me am ga parallel kari le ge di yeng ura ga si the speaker ki tribunal da amukha na chalo in thadarak pane masida congress ki mai pak pana te congress ki mamai da supreme court na akoi ge khupang na thara pa ga cha manai aro hojik ti speaker ki tribunal sdai da tha chayon mari ge manung da loishan da ba khona rak pa yai kari ba khona dra matung da moi ma khata na court cha cha ba di Refuting the Congress Party's allegation that BJP is a communal party, Chong Tham Bijoy said the Congress Party is secular only on lips and as it is a hardcore communal party in execution who plays communal politics. He said there was no communalism in the pre-independence era. However, after independence, the United India was partitioned by the Congress Party on religious line to facilitate Jawaharlal Nehru in becoming the Prime Minister. Chong Tham Bijoy said over 10 million people died in the world biggest communal riots during the partition. He claimed that all the incidents of communal riots in India occurred during the Congress's reign and not a single incident of communal riots occurred during the BJP's reign. Asian communal politics, Sanadiva, Amazon India, the Maru Hun Kibasi, Congress Party. 1947, India independent Pandri India the Hui, communalism, Majilam, Hindu Muslim, Amadi, Atejati, Kudim Manaraga, Kutcham Naraga, India, freedom is poor Kibani. Partition, religious line, the Hindu Muslim in a Tau Rizikari, the Mutano, Sigi died as a Kanano. Congress party nani. Gaurav Gogoi ki maagi state makti da. July 2012 ta. Asam ki Kokrasad district ta. Kamala Rai da. Kom thokki. Madhu ki Rai da 2014 bokcha thaki. Adizu kanagi saswan matam da no. Asam da Siri Tarun Gogoi na. Chief Minister Oering ki matam da neva. Manipur ki history da. Akho yi Kamala Rai da. Aan mat thokki ba. 3rd May 1993. Adu ki matam ki government cha kanano. Congress government. Lok Sabha MP Dr. R.K. Ranjan has blamed the previous government of failing to submit 12 years utilization certificates to the center, leading to hindrances in undertaking developmental activities by the present government. He was addressing a public meeting on second term government of Narendra Modi, held at Lainingthau Amudau Community Hall in Uripog Sinamlekai, organized by Uri BJP Uripog Mandal today. MP Dr. R.K. Ranjan said various significant works are being taken by the BJP government, mentioning about passing of triple talaq, scrapping of Article 370 from Jammu and Kashmir, implementation of Citizenship Amendment Act, the Lok Sabha MP has short of better changes in the Indian economy in the near future. He also mentioned that the long-awaited inner line permit regime was finally extended to Manipur during the second reign of Narendra Modi. भारत तले ये बा मुस्लिम अमता हंदर की एमएनएन अच्छी नाम कोई भारत की नागरिक कोई बताकी लोग तो ये है वो तले ही थे इवन पाकिस्तान लगी हुजिक्षु भारत की नागरिक कोई के हर गदी कोई सिटिजनशिप एफ 1955 से की बातों में ना प्रोसीडियर अमले ही है वो प्रोसीडियर तो तो मान लागा ऐ भारत की नागरिक कोई के है वो Indian constitution na thing balai te, Bharat ki parlane na thing balai te. Masida ekko ni yet ke do risik kari gino. Pujik su any Muslim, Bangladesh da ki hoi gira, Pakistan da ki hoi gira, Afghanistan da ki hoi gira, moi siya lo, laga Bharat ta nagari koi ge hai bada. Ekko ni nagari koi bagi, maagi application form, procedure adu da paja na process to orkanda ma adumak koi ge ya gade. Amid tight security measures being taken ahead of Republic Day celebrations, a highly powerful bomb exploded injuring a sleeping miner in Imphal City today. The explosion occurred at Nagamapal Pongnam Lekai Rims Road under Imphal Police Station in Imphal West at around 5 this morning. 
According to Impact News sources, the bomb exploded in front of an apparel store. The blast damaged eight shops, one coaching center, come day care, boarding and a residential home. Upon getting the information, a police team led by Imphal West SP, K. Meghachandra, additional SP operations, Amarjit Lamabam and Imphal Police Station SDPO Bidyabati immediately rushed to the spot for investigation. Imphal Police Station has registered the case and investigations are underway. A team of Manipur Forensic Science also inspected the explosion site today. Search operations were carried out in the vicinity on suspicion that the explosion must have been remote controlled. During the search drive, police uh, recovered an object suspected to be their remote control device among a market storage at the parking area opposite to the entry of Rims Road. It is suspected that the miscreants must have thrown the device after exploding the bomb. Shopkeepers of Nagamapal Paunam Lekai Rims Road carried out a protest demonstration condemning this morning's explosion. Taking part in the protest, Managing Director of Apunba Fitness Centre, Y. Hamlet, strongly condemns the act which terrified the shopkeepers and the passers-by. He appeals to those concerned not to repeat the inhuman act again. Various placards were displayed during the sit-in. ดิมสอดกี้มีเสียแล้วบ่มาพ่อมาชิดาชิดาพ่อมีบัดดุกานแม่มีเสียมาชีมาซ่ามาชูทักตัวนี้มุงทักตัวนี้ดุกานพ่
Regarding the rumoured outbreak of China's novel coronavirus in some villages on the Shirui Hill Range in Ukrul District, Minister Elgen Kumar said a medical team has rushed to conduct necessary investigations. He also said that the Union Health Minister has been apprised about the scene. The Health Minister assured that the government will take necessary measures. The new virus originated from China. It has started spreading out in the nearby villages of Shiroilili. I sent a medical team and uh, their report is yet to be submitted and I expect that they will submit their report to this. I have already given instruction to my officials to send messages to the concerned authorities of government of India also, like NCDC, and to the Union Minister, Dr. Harsh Mandarin. I have personally talked to him, highlighting these new facts. And with these little resources that we are having now in our state government, we are fighting tooth and nail to make eradication of all the, what to say, big, what to say, elements. New Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee MPCC observed the 123rd birth anniversary of freedom fighter Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose at Congress Bhavan BT Road today. All India Congress Committee Manipur in charge Gaurav Gogoi, Congress Legislature Party Leader Okrami Bobi, MPCC President Morang Temokendra, Congress MLA's top office bearers of MPCC and many party members paid homage to Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose at the observance. Shivastan Shiv Sangha Sangatan Latinkal also observed the 123rd birth anniversary of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose in front of Latinkal Panchayat office in Jiribam district today. Speaking on the occasion, social worker and Buddha Chandra assured that the ILP system will safeguard and protect the indigenous inhabitants of the state. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on full dress rehearsal for the Republic Day Parade celebrations 2020. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Primetime English News. Full dress rehearsal for the Republic Day Parade celebrations 2020 was held in Imphal today. Additional Director of Manipur Police Training College, MPTC, Asumar Sarangthem, MPS, is the parade commander of 96 contingent comprising of police, civil school, college and band contingent this year. Governor Dr. Najma Abdullah will grace this year's Republic Day celebrations at the historic Kangla Fort on January 26 as the chief guest. Security has tightened in Imphal City in view of the Republic Day celebrations. Information and Communication Technology Foundation Manipur in Kotef, a conglomerate of 16 IT companies based in Manipur, held the Manipur Information Technology Conclave Midcon 2020 at Hotel Imphal today. The conclave was held on a the theme, A Limitless Future Accelerating Growth in IT. Speaking at the event, Chief Minister Nong Thombambirin urged every parent to leave behind the concept of educating their child for the sake of securing government jobs. He said, education is not just for getting a government job job but to give service to others from the knowledge gained. Chief Minister N. Birin lauded Inkotef for its initiative to bring progress in the IT sector of the state and assured of all the necessary help from the government. I am very much proud to be a Manipuri. I am we did not provide them the space to explore. But see, the space is here because of Manipuri. After starting the start of with innovative ideas, many intellectuals, many youths with degrees, targeting them. But the low number of people who are not from the I'm not saying low number of people have been but there are many people space people who are in court. They are providing jobs to the youth. And the Sigi sense, Sigi ideas, who are not maru in the city, we should filter into the parents and guardians. Masigi mass awareness, I'm going to tell you. 
Chief Minister N. Biren has launched a GAPT cup, a single-use disposable cups manufactured by Global Approaching Track, a private company based in Imphal. The cup was launched during a ceremony held at Chief Minister's office at Babupara in Imphal today. Biren expressed happiness at the production of biodegradable disposable paper cups for the first time in Manipur. He lauded GAT for being a pioneer in the field. Sangai Express editor Kogendra Komdram, All Manipur Working Journalists Union Vice President S. Bokul Jauba, Naharol Githaudang Associate Editor T. Chandra Gupta and company representatives took part in the event. Global Approaching Track is currently manufacturing paper cups only in two different sizes. It aims to produce cups of different sizes and market it to other states in the near future. United NGOs Mission Manipur has condemned the molestation of a woman IPS officer by 112 Assam Rifles personnel, R.P.K. Pandey. It has also demanded removal of Assam Rifles post from the area. Speaking to media at the office of United NGOs Mission Manipur in Chingmerong today, DWC convener of Imphal West as Radha Piyari said, the Assam Rifles post in the area has been causing immense inconveniences to both top officials and the general public. She appeals to the relevant authorities to remove Assam rifles from all the check posts of Manipur and to replace them with CISF. Radha Piyari asked why the accused personnel has not been arrested till now. She warned of intense agitation if necessary actions are not taken at the earliest. IPS amada Assam rifle na sathari ba pochhe asuki mat lal lihai ba se koi kuti magna loi na khangna ra bang aktani nupi na sek tau da da na nupa na sek tau ba hai ba se masi ya di hai masi lo na du ek tau loi na jauza ra ba adu gumba mani ngasi fau ba da yar pota CIS se apna sek tau ba matam da crime se ngasi ba ba thok te ba adu na maram mo ra ga Assam rifle se log thok pira ga koi CIS se apse hai ba ba pham se da thambi ba adu ga phazana train tau ra ba Gender Karino Kangaba, Adugumba, Human Rights Karino Kangaba, Mioi train the rubber trainer oiba, Adugumba, Mioido, Aquina Kuding Tabis, Taman Ningeba, Kuding Tab, even Kuding Tabika Kiwana, the Tech Post Kuding Mukta. All Manipur Women's Voluntary Association in a press release also strongly condemns the molestation of a woman IPS officer by one Assam rifle rifleman at Kuding Tabi check post on January 19. The association urged the government to award befitting punishment to the rifleman. Months-long traffic awareness program kicked off at Jaffa Bazaar in Chandel District today with various uh, traffic awareness slogans and signboards. Chandel Deputy Commissioner Krishna Kumar IS, along with civil society organizations, organized the program under the supervision of Chandel District Police SP and Madhu Nimai MPS. Chandel District Police Additional SP Augustine J. Kongsai MPS, SDPO, OC and leaders of various CSOs attended the inaugural event. Sensitization program for community and religious leaders was held on the fourth day of Betty Bachao Betty Parao week at Pantilong Baptist Church in Mantir Pukri today. Child Development Project Officer CDPO of Integrated Child Development Services ICDS Project Imphal East 1 organized the program. ICDS Cell Imphal DPOL Indira, CDPO of ICDS Project Imphal East 1 K Devananda, Pantilong Chairman Guy B. Reime, and many eminent persons attended the event. Speaking on the occasion, CDPOK Devananda said that the program aims to protect and empower every girl child. Swatana le horo ba angang nupi masajing je karmai tau dana kan gedege kamai tau dana moi like tam hangedege haibigi am maru eba pandam da koi tau jabani sam na haiba da koi gi angang je nupi gore gedi koi gi society jigi sana biya moi na koi ultrasound gi mateng laro ga hujik pan gi ba mayam zu yaure ultrasound gi mateng laro ga nupi ni haiba gedi angang je boss tok tok ba thugai ba adu gum mayam lai re ba adu gum ba pandam je koi tau dana bagi da mukta mafam 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 khuding da chatana koi shumai tau na program se tau jabani. 
District Supply Officer, Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, Dirvam, organized one-day training camp distribution of EPOS machine at DC office in Chingdong, Lekai, Dirvam district today. Four trainers taught a fair price shop agents how to use the EPOS machine. Dirvam, ADC and Banking distributed EPOS machine to 32 agents who attended the program. Ward Development Committee of Wards No. 1 and 2 of Kakching Municipal Council held an awareness program on municipal solid waste management and source segregation today. Twin bins were distributed to 1,130 families of the area at the event. Chairperson of Kakching Municipal Council, Naurem Sanjit Kumar, Vice Chairperson, KSH Jaljit, Yauna, Jaljit and many people took part in the event held at Wairi Sabal Lekai Community Hall in Kakching. Pakangba Management Service Private Limited has donated food and apparels to the family of ailing Laisham Jatra from Mayang Imphal Kaitil Mani. It may be mentioned that Laisham Jatra is immobile due to an illness. Gunindro Kangimbam, President of Manipur Finance Services Mayang Imphal Branch, a subsidiary unit of the company, has a short to bear medical expenses for Jatra and his wife Bhanu, who has severe infection on her right hand. Speaking on the sidelines, Gunindro expressed sadness at the deplorable condition of Jatra's house located just near Mayang Imphal Municipal Council Ward Number Councillor's residence. He added that Jatra's son Kongdaba is taking up any available works to feed the family of six, including his sisters and two ailing parents. Gunindro expressed disappointment that benefits under Chief Minister Gihakshil Gitengbang's scheme is still a far cry for the family. Makatana lying because you know she's a Tazaragani. Like about me, I'm so a sigum of a dollar tarba, one at Arab, me, I'm a sida, Mating Pampi, Bugiba Kalola, the Popi Bugalina, and Mating Pampi, you have seen Tams again. Makatara put the coin hospital, the treatment, let's see, and Masasi Patripo, where Koy Lyons and Bugitog Danga do, Koy Pakanga services, Luna, and Manipur Finance Service, and the lower Gany, which may have no luxury. Royal Riders Club Manipur held its 13th Foundation Day at its office in Langol today. Speaking at the event, the President of Royal Riders Club Manipur, Momocha Laishram, said that the club alone has been extending possible help to people in the far-flung areas of the state. He said the club has organized medical camps and tree plantation drives across the state. Riders today went on a charity ride at Hope Hope Home in Langjing. They distributed food items and toys to the children inmate of the home. Took the lady by photo webs, a quick beaver sick actor, lay his river beaver sick of the white floral tibur cachavani. Royal Riders, but he put a eat up the body put it about the Hadbulate of a Taurali Jagalo and Gasivoka, Queda, Mount Hadder Saxon Jerry. Took the Sue Equeda, eat up the body put it about the Abasu, eat up the Sida, Soyaka the Wokada, Royal Riders, the Equay, the Gadabulate, the Equay, Bartas and Jagari, have the Sidor Riders by getting it up Jerry. Lola Lola, the eat up the body put it is up for the Borussu and Royal Riders, Buddha Sivira, Royal Riders, the Torquatabo Kuruka, but it back behind the Sakway Hizari. All India State Government Employees Confederation in a press release demanded the government to pay the seventh pay scale to all the government college teachers and employees at the earliest. The Confederation warned of intense agitations if the authorities concerned fails to heed their demands within January 2020. Dado Pant Tengadi Bird Centenary Celebration Committee kicked off a year-long bird centenary celebration of Dado Pant Tengadi at Iskorn Temple Airport Road today. Speaking at the event, Lok Sabha MP Dr. R. K. Ranjan stressed on the need to bring land reform policy to grant ownership to the farmers. He said the late Dado Pant Tengadi was an active member of RSS and a leader who took major roles for, for the welfare of the farmers. He also said the various farmers' organizations, including Bharatiya Kishan Sangh, were formed during Dado Pant Tengadi's time. Taking part in the event, a former member of NER Vision 2020 Steering Committee of Donor, Professor N. Mohindro said the supply of adequate water in paddy fields is the first step to bring welfare to farmers. Bharatiya Kishan Sangh's and National Sangatan Mantri, Dinesh Kulkarni, top officials of Bharatiya Kishan Sangh Manipur, and many people attended the event. Lomi Prasada, Hakte Nana, Prasad Sadse, Wagi Belu, Dop Hangana, Hona, Asinasimbukaya, 
Hauduk pira iba sa nga si tatapan na magi movement magi sangha ahum puto kasi na nga si day Narendra Modi na masig kudung ilaga barat ke agricultural policy da may iwan naman pira iba si ni Manipur da kasi kaya iba lawmi sinse maximum lawmi yamot na lamgi mapu oite ato na kisan sangha ke laybiri ba Manipur ke pranta si na ano ba land use policy yama Natragal land reform ama masigi movement to bagi tangai pada badu lai. A team of Lilong police team, a police today arrested a man in possession of 330 SP tablets during a frisking operation at Lilong Arapti. The miscreant is 30-year-old Sapam Bailot, son of S. Romeo from Haubom Marangangom Lekai. The police team led by Lilong Police Station OC Inspector O. Ajit and ASI L. Tikendro under the supervision of SP Thaubal carried out a drive at around 9.30 a.m. Lilong Police Station has registered a case and investigations are underway. More than 3,000 litres of liquors worth around 3 lakh rupees were set ablaze today. The liquors were seized by a team led by Excise Station Bishnupur OC MDC Raj Ahmad under the overall supervision of Excise Commissioner B. John Tanting Kumar and Circle Deputy Excise T. H. E. Singh from various parts of Bishnupur district during anti-liquor drives held in view of the upcoming Republic Day celebration. Now the sports news. Mohan Bagan thrashed Neroka FC 3-0 in their home match of the ongoing Hero I League at Kumalampak Main Stadium today. Mohan Bagan's midfielder Nongdamba Naurem from Manipur scored the first goal at the 27th minute of the match. Nongdamba Naurem played very well in the match and he carried out most of the attacks. Striker Papa Babakar scored the second goal at the 52nd minute by heading a ball passed by Nongdamba Naurem in the net. And the last and final goal was scored by striker Komron Tursonov, who came in as a substitute in the last few minutes of the match. LKYDA Lifem Kunau defeated TYDA Taubul by 2-0 in the 15th match of the ongoing first Haishnam Nilakamal Mobi Memorial under 40kg A4A site football tournament today. In the 16th match of the tournament organized by Youth Integration Club YIC, five brothers FC Kawa and Real Football Academy resulted in 1-1 draw, while all FC Uripok Torang Bomlekai dropped MSC Nana Pitong by 13-1 in the 17th match. Now before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. AICC Manipur in charge Gaurav Gogoi accuses BJP led state government of abusing constitutional authority. Minister Taunajam Sham Kumar speaks out on his disqualification case, challenges Congress MLAs to fight on the right platform. BJP spokesperson Chongtan Bijoy terms returning of Minister T. H. Shamkumar's disqualification case to Speaker's Tribunal tight slap on Congress Party. Amid tight security ahead of Republic Day celebrations, powerful bomb explodes at Nagamapal Paunam Lekai Rims Road. And Health Minister Lampolapam Jente Kumar urges people to join hands in eradicating hepatitis from Manipur by 2030.